Okay, this video is about changing a belt in a TIAC A103 cassette deck. I had looked online and there weren't any good videos that actually showed what to do to change out the main uh, flat belt that is on the motor over here. The one I had had turned to goo, basically. Had to clean it all off. Um, so basically, in order to get this thing out of here, so you can fit the belt down in the slot, there are four screws on each of these posts. So one here, here, one down here on the underside, and this. Let's see. Can we see that post? Let's zoom in. Post down here on the underside near where this screw would be. Uh, the circuit card has two screws on the top on the top of it. I took them off uh, just to get more room underneath to get at the screw under there. So after taking that off, circuit board's a little bit loose. Uh, I just have the one screw in the corner. Oh, this was the other thing to note is there are a couple mechanisms down in that area. This and this along with, let's see here, there's one right in here and here, or these are contacts that you want to make sure you look at before you put it back together, otherwise it might be on the wrong side. Okay, so uh, these screws had some really good Loctite on them, and the one in this position I stripped out, so I had to take it off with pliers. So now you see that there is a large amount of room in between here to fit the belt over and get onto this surface. Uh, I don't think either of those have moved. Okay. All right, here's the bag of belts as a kit. The only one I'm interested in is the flat one. Ooh. Let me zoom in on that, there we go. Let's see if there's any defects on here. I didn't even look. It looks pretty good though. Obviously, if you have one of these and you get a rubber band, it's not going to work. Or if there's defects on there, there'll be some kind of wobbling or whatever. So now that we have that open up enough, let's see, we've got a good view in there. Sure. Okay. Will this fit over that easily? <laughs> uh, hmm. Answer is maybe. And what do I have to fix afterwards that I messed up? Oh, thing down in there. Oh yeah, this is not particularly easy. Once I get it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, is it fully on there? No. There we go. Okay. So now it's around where it's supposed to be. Uh, then this is an idler wheel, and the belt is on this side. It doesn't go over the top of that. Okay. That was. Let's see if it's a, um, is it linked on anything on the other side. No. Okay. So then it's a matter of getting this all back together. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. That. So we'll put that underneath that. Okay. So that sits on top of that black thing way in there. And then it presses against that switch there. This sits inside that. Okay. This is on top, and that one is on top. Holy smokes. Okay. Do I have a good screw to put in? There we go. Partially back together. Uh, pieces are aligned in there. Looks like I accidentally pulled this off underneath, which is part of the reverse. Okay, that's the that's the screw I had up here. Okay. That's the one that's stripped out. Okay, so all the mechanisms that works properly. Okay, and all right, so then uh, it'll just be the other two the one under here, the one under here that has a terminal ring on it, which is not easy to get at, and then putting the two uh, screws for the circuit board back on. <laughs> oh, it fell on the other line now. Oh, I'm getting grease on everything. <laughs> Stand in the center. There we go. That doesn't seem like it's the greatest. Okay, a little bit of must be some grease from somewhere else. I'll have to wipe that off later, but it is staying centered. Okay, good grief. Okay, so just putting this one back in place. one which goes through a terminal ring I don't know it is not going to be easy to put back in uh, can you even see ooh, ooh. Let's see here. Can you see that in there? Yeah, that's the one right, right down there. So that's going to be difficult. Uh, there we go. All right, that was kind of annoying, but I got it back in there anyway, so I can see it in there. And back in for these. Uh, all right. Okay. 
And so this thing has to be mounted on here because this switch hits against it. I'm not going to relock tight anything. That was tightened. That's tightened. That's stripped out. That's tight. All right, physically all back together. That mechanism is still good. That's the eject, and I believe. What is that one? That's the record, so I have to hold that down. Okay, that does that. Uh, rewind. Play. That looks good. Fast forward. That's that one is moving. That is what's this for? Let's play. Let's fast forward. Stop and pause. Okay. So then I guess I could hook it up to power and see if it actually works. That's play. No, that was fast forward. Fast forward doesn't seem that much fast forward. <laughs> hmm, maybe it is. Okay. Okay, coming back in. Let's plug in my headphones. Let's grab a cassette tape. Let's do Ozzy, I guess. See how well this works. And it goes in like that. And let's play. And is this cranked all the way up? Huh? Okay, that sounds perfect. <laughs> that sounds great, actually. So, didn't hear anything odd, wobbling or anything, or fluttering. So, that looks like that is a successful repair. Okay, perfect. Uh, obviously, I didn't need to change out any other belts. Everything sounds just great. Uh, and that's it. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks.